Hey, welcome back to our database application and we're demonstrating what we can do with Java and MySQL. So in this next series of videos, we're going to combine these classes that we've created. So we've got a delete one item, insert, read, and update. And we're going to create a single class that can handle all these operations using parameters, make it more general so we can update a little bit better than just a hard-coded value like dark chocolate. So let's create a new, uh, a new container here, and we'll call this a new package. And this package is, we're going to call it uh, database stuff. So let's just name it database. And inside of there, let's call this class here something like a database service. And it doesn't really need a main constructor or anything like that. Let's just go to finish. So we're going to have these four CRUD operations. And the first one, we're going to call it, um, let's call it delete one. And uh, we're going to pass in the an integer, which is the ID number of the object we want to delete. And let's see, we need a return value on that. So let's go with an integer. And then somewhere in here, we're going to return the uh, number of rows affected. Okay, so that's kind of the goal where we're headed. And let's see, we got to declare that. I guess I better put that inside of the brackets. So we're going to declare that as number of rows affected. And we'll start off with zero. Okay, and then between those two statements it has to go all of our database work. So there's the first class we're going to create. Uh, the next one is going to be um, insert one value. And now this time we want to insert and give it an object name. So our object name we're going to call it a, a letter B and that is going to stand for a beautiful thing. Very cool. And we need to import that. Same thing happens here. We're going to do rows affected and return it. And then once more, a bunch of database work. So that's the second class that we've got in front of us. So what have we got so far? We've got read all. We haven't done that. Delete and insert. Let's do read all. So let's make a public and integer. No, this time it's going to be a list. We're going to return a, uh, an array list of objects here. So beautiful thing is the type, and it's a list of it. And let's see, let's call it read all. And it doesn't need any parameters. We just want all of them. And let's see. So we're going to have a And we'll call it everyone, and we'll make it a new array list. Okay, so that should be our function. What's wrong with array list? It's got to be imported. Okay, so inside here, once again, database work. So we got three of them now. We got uh, delete and insert and get them all, read them all, and then lastly we need an update command. And let's see, an update is either a success or fail, so we're going to do an integer, the number of rows that are affected here, so update one, and we're going to give this thing a value of the, so this thing's going to need two values. First of all we need the integer of the ID number of the item we want to change, and then we need to pass a bunch of data that's going to be updated. So let's call this thing a, a beautiful, a beautiful thing as well. And let's send him along as B. And since we're using the number of rows affected, we'll copy and paste this. Okay, so that kind of gives us the um, outline of what our service is going to do. Now I'm going to pause here. I'm going to collapse all of these 
and challenge you that I think you could do this on your own. So instead of me typing it all, why don't you go and copy and paste a lot of this stuff? So for instance, delete one item has already been done for you. I'm going to copy all this data here, put it into this function called delete one, and just change a few things. And same with the insert something and the read all and update one. All of these have already been demonstrated for you. Can you make it work? So pause the video and try it on your own. If you give up and you can't do it, maybe you'll see it in the next video.